hello students uh, today we are going to learn uh, science subject uh, chapter number 6 substances in daily uses so let's start uh, what we see uh, in this picture yes uh, you can see here uh, objects which objects uh, it is a chair this is a table and uh, this is cupboard okay so uh, what are all substances made up of can you tell me the substances made up of small particles okay what are what are objects made up of objects made up of substances uh, you can see uh, in picture uh, which material used to made up a chair as yes, wood uh, you can uh, we can uh, use uh, wood uh, to make a chair to ma make a table and uh, to make cupboard also so objects have a specific shape you can see here uh, chair has a specific uh, shape uh, it is uh, like a rectangular or a square you can see here the table it is it is a uh, uh, round in shape uh, you can if you see the cupboard it is a uh, rectangular in shape so uh, we can easily identify uh, with help of its shape okay so object has a specific shape and uh, some substances uh, or material can be used to make many objects so uh, uh, we can uh, use same substance or material uh, to make many objects so you can see uh, for example uh, if the cotton uh, uh, is a material Uh, cotton is substance uh, with uh, using this we can uh, uh, make uh, like uh, fabrics cotton uh, fabric or uh, then uh, reels uh, then uh, sarees then uh, handkerchief mats mattress and pillow okay so this is a uh, different objects we can uh, use only uh, same substance which is cotton okay then uh, uh, see uh, the another example uh, uh, iron uh, we can uh, make uh, from this substance uh, rods iron rods uh, utensils uh, pan then uh, so many machine machineries Uh, then uh, uh, electric poles, tables, cupboards. Okay, so uh, this same. There are uh, different type of uh, objects, but the material used, used material, used substance is same. Then another example. Uh, you can see here <coughs> so many utensils, uh, which is. Uh, Uh, use substances aluminum then aluminum wires aluminum sheets aluminum tanks aluminum aluminum can aluminum uh, sheets and uh, uh, which is uh, uh, used machineries uh, or in aeroplane so there are uh, different type of uh, objects but the uh, use substance is aluminum is same okay then uh, uh, you have to some activity uh, to do in uh, home make a list of various object in your house and note down the substances they are made of uh, now see the picture uh, which substance used to made of uh, which substance used to make this uh, picture Uh, yes, yeah, we use uh, card paper, uh, then bottle.
border uh, wooden border colors okay then uh, water of uh, we use uh, uh, wooden substance uh, then uh, bed we uh, uh, use material uh, wood uh, then uh, wa clock we use uh, plastic uh, glass uh, book case we use uh, wood or uh, iron plant uh, which is a uh, soil then uh, tv we use the plastic uh, glass metal etc uh, then uh, table uh, we use wood then sofa uh, we use fabric uh, and uh, cotton fabric or cotton and wood wood also or we can use iron uh, question we use cotton okay so now classify uh, classify the following substances according to their uses here are some uh, substances we have to classify uh, substances are like sand soap wool window glass bamboo cotton bricks silk leafy vegetables cement fruits water sugar uh, now we can classify them uh, in uh, their uh, according to their use, uh, uses first is material of uh, construction which material we can uh, use in construction in construction we use uh, mostly sand window glass bamboo bricks cement and water uh, then uh, material used in food uh, which uh, substance we, uh, we use for our food leafy vegetable fruits water sugar uh, then uh, materials used for making clothes uh, which material we use uh, for making clothes uh, uh, wool silk and cotton uh, materials uh, used for cleanliness we use soap and uh, uh, also water uh, so can you tell me uh, what is difference between these uh, two groups of uh, natural substances uh, leather jute wool cotton water soil and metal if you see the leather which uh, we obtain from uh, animals uh, jute uh, which we obtain uh, from um, uh, trees uh, wool which we obtain from animals uh, cotton which we obtain from trees water uh, which is uh, uh, not non-living thing soil is also non-living thing and metal also non-living thing so if you uh, compare uh, these two type of these all are uh, uh, we obtain from living thing and uh, these uh, three are obtained from non-living thing okay so natural substance what is natural uh, substances substances available in nature are called natural substances uh, substances obtained from living things are ca called biotic substances uh, air soil water are the substances that are not obtained from living things they are called abiotic substances so you can see here uh, leather wool uh, we obtain from uh, animals so these uh, uh, substances are uh, origin animal origin and uh, jute cotton we obtain from plants so this uh, we call plant origin substances uh, so next natural substances Uh, number uh, do you, we find plastic nylon brass or uh, cement in uh, nature, uh, nature no its answer is uh, because uh, plastic uh, is a creation of uh, man uh, the nylon is also uh, we can't find in naturally we uh, ma ma man made uh, so uh, you can see here uh, c 
cement cement also uh, no, uh, we don't find in natural so may, uh, we call uh, them man made substances new substances produced by uh, processing naturally available substances are called man made substances several man made substances are uh, in use they are uh, easier to use and are available plentifully at low cost they satisfy the need of man and make his life more comfortable uh, so you can see here uh, eyelids or uh, caps made of grass uh, sackcloth cloth umbrella uh, which uh, then uh, you can see the raincoat bag plastic so these all are man made okay uh, you uh, use your brain power complete the table below showing how substances of daily use are classified so we can um, uh, see that substances in daily use uh, to, there are two types of substances in daily use natural and man made uh, in man made um, there are only uh, one type which is art, uh, artificial and in natural substances there are two types uh, first is abiotic uh, biotic and uh, second is biotic uh, the, in abiotic there are two types of uh, types plant organ origin and uh, animal origin uh, there are two example plant origin uh, example is cotton and animal origin uh, origins example is leather okay so here are uh, some examples of man made substances area of use uh, is construction uh, natural substances are uh, bamboo stone soil wood coconut uh, fronds lime okay and man made uh, substances uh, brick cement cement concrete uh, galvanized uh, sheet clay tiles plastic uh, as as well those sheets okay Uh, then uh, writing material tree tree bark leaves gujra patra paints uh, made from uh, reeds uh, dhul dhul patra uh, stone slate stone walls in ke, uh, cave soil and colors made from plants uh, and man, man made is man made uh, substances are paints pencils made from plastic and uh, metal paper notebook etc uh, then area for uses uh, threads uh, fibers or yarn uh, the natural substances are cotton silk and wool and normal substances nylon and rayon uh, so it is our uh, last point glass can be made from sand and uh, calcium carbonate However, uh, sand and calcium carbonate cannot be obtained again from glass. Uh, while making man-made substances, the properties of the constituents uh, undergo a uh, change. This change occurs due to certain chemical reactions. These changes in the properties are uh, permanent. That is, the original constituent uh, substances cannot be obtained again. From the new substances, the so substances are called irre irreversible, irreversible changes. For example, we can see green chilies or tomatoes turning red after some time, but uh, these red chilies uh, or tomatoes can cannot become green again. Uh, you can see uh, the green chilies turn into red, but uh, red chilies. Uh, uh, do, uh, do not turn into green okay so uh, this is the end of our today's topic thank you